Hello, and welcome to the instructional video for the Dynamic Mechanical Analyzer, or DMA. The DMA is a material characterization device that can measure many different responses. It is located in the Polymer Analysis Lab inside of the Ross Engineering and Technology Building. There are several safety concerns to consider when using the DMA. Like all the labs inside of the ETEC building, safety glasses and closed-toed shoes must be worn at all times. In addition, the machine utilizes compressed nitrogen, so care should be taken not to bump the tank or damage it in any way that could possibly cause a leak. Finally, when closing the furnace of the DMA, there's a pinch point that should be avoided. The DMA is located inside the polymer analysis lab, which is inside of the plastics processing lab. Everything needed to operate the DMA is located either on the DMA or inside of the mobile cabinet next to the machine. Various hex wrenches should be located on the shelf of the DMA. Calipers, a torque wrench, and a manual for the DMA are located inside of the cabinet next to the machine. The calipers and torque wrench should be located inside of a box labeled single slash dual cantilever clamp. The first thing that should be done when preparing to run an experiment is to open up the DMA interface on the computer next to the device. Once this is open, in order to set up an experiment, select the Experiment tab and click on Wizard. This allows you to select what mode to use on the machine, what type of test to run, and what factor levels to use. In addition, this is where sample dimensions can be entered and where the data storage location is selected. After an operator is comfortable setting up an experiment using the experimental wizard, additional experiments can be set up by simply going to the procedure tab on the main page of the DMA interface. This tab has two sections, a method tab, where you can enter things such as force, stress, and amplitude of the tests, and a frequency tab, where you can enter what frequencies you wish to run this test at. Once an experiment is set up, it's time to put the test sample in the clamp fixture. First, open the DMA's furnace. This can be done either by using the touch screen on the DMA itself, or by using a button on the DMA interface program. Next, set the air bearing to float. This allows the center jaws of the clamp to move up and down. Then, insert the sample between the jaws of the clamp. Following this step, the screws on the clamp's jaws can be finger tightened. Next, lock out the air bearing and use the torque wrench to finish tightening the screws. The appropriate torque for several different materials is listed inside of the DMA manual. The torque is adjusted by simply tightening or loosening the cap at the bottom of the tool. Always make sure to tighten all three screws on the clamp before starting an experiment. The last step to running an experiment is to set the air bearing back to float, close the furnace, and press start on either the DMA touchscreen or the computer interface. Once the experiment has finished and the furnace cools enough, the sample can be removed. When removing the sample, remember to lock out the air bearing before using the torque wrench to loosen the screws on the clamp. Depending on the temperature ramp rate and the temperature that the test is being ramped to, a DMA experiment generally takes between 15 minutes and one hour. However, after this, there's generally an additional 20 to 30 minutes in order to allow the furnace to cool down enough for the sample to be removed. After the sample has been removed, if you are not planning on running another test, the furnace can now be closed. This concludes the DMA instructional video. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable.